This is 5 in 10 from Skywatch TV for Thursday, October 5th, 2023. I'm Derek Gilbert. You may have noticed we're back on YouTube. Our address at 5 in 10. Please subscribe and share if you watch on YouTube. But uh, we'll also tell you how to make sure we never get canceled again, which could happen at any moment. Uh, details on that before the end of this program. Topic number five today, McCarthy is out. As we told you with our brief update yesterday, on Tuesday evening, the House of Representatives in an historic vote removed Kevin McCarthy, representative from California, as the Speaker of the House. He was uh, elected Speaker back in January after 15 rounds of voting. He managed to uh, cut a deal with the most conservative members, what the uh, corporate media calls the fringe members of the Republican caucus, to change the rules, which would allow a uh, resolution, uh, the rules to allow just one member to put forth a motion to vacate the chair. This was not uh, previously the rule, but these uh, uh, conservatives wanted to hold McCarthy to account. Well, after he reportedly cut a deal, a side deal, a secret side deal with Democrats to allow for more funding for the war in Ukraine in order to get the continuing resolution to keep the government open. In other words, a short-term funding bill. Um, the, uh, well, Matt Gates stepped forward representative from Florida and put forth the motion to vacate. Now, McCarthy's supporters tried to table the motion. That vote failed. Democrats lined up behind their uh, uh, minority leader, Hakeem Jeffries. It's unclear at this point who is going to replace McCarthy. Um, the House is expected to uh, hold a vote as early as this coming Tuesday, but uh, McCarthy is not going to run for speaker again. Majority Whip Tom Emmer of Minnesota said he would not run. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise of Louisiana has not yet made an announcement, at least as of this recording. So who beyond those three? I have no clue. Again, Democrats will line up behind Hakeem Jeffries, but Democrats don't have enough votes to push him over the top. It's not likely you'll get any Republicans that will join the Democrats uh, as they did during the vote to remove Kevin McCarthy. Um, in, in Democrats did not vote to support McCarthy. He was not willing to offer any concessions to them to keep his job. Um, anyway, former House Speaker, uh, while this is going on, former Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Tuesday said the newly named interim Speaker, the Speaker pro tem Patrick, Mc, uh, Patrick McHenry, that is, um, ordered her to vacate her office in the Capitol building. I mean, she's no longer Speaker of the House. She doesn't need an office in the Capitol building. She still has a regular office in the Cannon House office building, where the rest of the representatives are located. An email sent from McHenry's office to Pelosi's office just after 6 p.m. Tuesday said, um, going to reassign H-132 for Speaker office use. Please vacate the space tomorrow, end quote. Pelosi issued a statement saying, I'm in California, mourning and paying tribute to uh, the late Senator Dianne Feinstein, I, so I am not able to retrieve my belongings. That's what you have staff for, Ms. Pelosi. Uh, anyway, she noted that she gave former Speaker Denny Hastert of Illinois an office in the Capitol building, uh, a rather larger suite of offices for his continued use after his, his time as Speaker ended, and she became the first female Speaker of the House. Uh, but Here's the thing, maybe this, this attitude of acting like they're all members of a big club to which you and I don't belong needs to end. Speakers got the right to assign offices to those who need it, rather than just, you know, continuing to buddy up with your friends on the other side. It strikes me that politics here in the United States, and maybe around the world, is a bit like professional wrestling. On camera, they pretend to fight with each other, and they're all going out for drinks together when the cameras are off. Topic number four, here comes Kennedy. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. may be running as an independent for president. A super PAC who supports Kennedy, or that supports Kennedy, rather, has begun polling his support um, as an independent for president, which is one of the strongest indications so far that that may actually happen. The poll was conducted by the firm John Zogby Strategies, respected political pollster here in the United States, comes uh, amid speculation, some of it coming from Kennedy himself, that he's going to run as an independent since the Democratic Party seems uh, bound and determined to keep him out of the primaries for president. Now, what the PAC found in its survey is very interesting. Uh, Kennedy as an independent would apparently pull more support away from Donald Trump than from Joe Biden. Now, that's really interesting. I get that there is a large contingent of people who voted for Trump in the last two elections who appreciate what 
Mr. Kennedy says about um, vaccines, but look at his total range of policies and preferred policy goals. He is not a conservative, and if you truly are a Christian conservative, voting for him on the basis of that one item alone, you may want to rethink that. Uh, anyway, the poll shows that in a general election between Trump, Biden, and Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Trump would be at 40%, Biden 38%, and Kennedy at 17%. Again, he's not yet a third-party candidate, but he's teasing a big announcement coming up in the next few days, October 9th in Philadelphia. Topic number three, training the image be of the beast. Uh, Meta, parent company of Facebook, uh, admitted late last week that it uses the data that we post to Facebook to train its artificial intelligence algorithms. This according to Reuters News. As the AI boom continues, content creators using algorithms are using the mountains of data that we volunteer to the internet to train their algorithms. In the case of Facebook, that would be several billion users, regular Facebook users using that data. Now, after Meta unveiled its new AI assistance last week, its president of global affairs, Nick Clegg, formerly leader of the Lib Liberal Democrats in a party in the United Kingdom, uh, he told Reuters that the majority of the training data used to develop the AI algorithms came from publicly available posts on Facebook and Instagram, but, quote, we've tried to exclude data sets that have a heavy preponderance of personal information, end quote. Note, we've tried. Intelligence agencies have known for years now that uh, we are volunteering more information to websites like Facebook and Instagram than they were able to legally obtain for decades. Just a reminder, if you're going to post stuff, try to keep personal data off it because it's going to wind up training the artificial intelligence that may one day rule the world. Uh, topic number two, kidnapped by your car. Um, this sounds funny, but it's really not. It's actually a picture of what may come. An electric car driver in Glasgow, terrified, revealed to uh, reporters that he was kidnapped by his runaway MG ZS electric vehicle. This is a 30,000 pound, so what, about $40,000, $42,000 vehicle? The vehicle suffered a catastrophic malfunction, which forced him to dodge red lights, go through roundabouts at about 30 miles an hour because the vehicle just would not slow down. 53-year-old Brian Morrison said he was heading home from work around 10 p.m. Sunday when his Chinese-made MG EV in self-driving mode, suddenly began driving at, well, actually not in self-driving mode. It suffered a failure and went into self-driving mode, uh, essentially, would not slow down, 30 miles per hour. Um, <laughs> Morrissey has mobility issues, so he was not able to jump out of the vehicle. That was not an option. He was trapped in the vehicle, which refused to decelerate. So he began doing the best he could to steer through the traffic oncoming. Thankfully, it was late on a Sunday evening, and he was able to dial 999, which is the UK's equivalent of 911 here in the US, and police took him seriously and uh, were able to catch up to him and then allow the vehicle to slowly crash into the back of a police van, which then brought it to a stop. But this is a terrifying example of what may lie in our future. I'm at the tail end of the baby boom, and I'm 61. And as I get older, driving, especially at night, becomes just a little more challenging with each given year. But for those of us not willing to give up our ability to travel when we want, when we want, this self-driving automobile begins to sound like a good idea. Uh, not to me, but there are a lot of people out there to whom this will sound like a good idea, but ain't necessarily so. And in this case, again, I think the thing to remember, which I should emphasize, is that this was not a self-driving Tesla. This was an electric vehicle that just suddenly suffered a catastrophic failure and refused to slow down. Um, just... Bear in mind, I think self-driving, even a worse idea. Coming up, uh, gaming the system. Great-grandparents who figured out how to live their best life in retirement. Straight ahead on 5 and 10. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to make sure you know how you can get your copy of this incredible new book in the Before Genesis Master Collection. When you order the Before Genesis Master Collection from the skywatchtvstore.com, you'll receive the brand new book, Before Genesis, the Unauthorized History of Tohu, Bohu, and the Chaos Dragon in the Land Before Time by Dr. Thomas Horn and Donna Howell. 
In this phenomenal new work, you'll learn about the debate raging between the old Earth and the young Earth creationist groups, what the Earth was like during the without form and void era of Genesis 1-2, how ancient archaeological sites like Gobekli Tepe and the Doorway of the Serpent point to an intelligent race of beings on Earth alive before the time of Adam and under Lucifer's fallen influence and for the first time ever, the conclusion to the events of Genesis that merges all contributing voices from not only the young and old creationist groups, but the scientific community as well into one balanced and agreeable climax. But that's not all. You'll also receive the amazing DVD, What Lies Beneath, The Lost Secrets of the Watchers Below Gobekli Tepe, featuring archaeologist and author Dr. Aaron Judkins and best-selling author Derek Gilbert as they reveal Gobekli Tepe's historical use as a place of watchers' worship, the evidence of a cult that venerated human skulls and reptilian creators, and the links between the god of Gobekli Tepe and the Bible. Also included in this must-have master collection are the digital, downloadable ebook versions of the Earth's earliest ages, unearthing the lost world of the Cloud Eaters and the Apocrypha, including the Book of Enoch. These three masterpiece works will be available for download immediately when you place your order for the Before Genesis Master Collection and are being included in this offer absolutely free. All of these items hold a retail value of over $85. Yours now for your donation of only $35 plus shipping and handling. So don't delay. You can scan the QR code on your screen using the camera app on your phone for instant access to this special opportunity. You can also visit us at skywatchtvstore.com or call 1-844-750-4985 and ask for the Before Genesis Master Collection right now. Item number one today, this uh, sounds interesting, but it's really a sad comment on the state of elder care in the Western world. A retired couple in Australia has spent more than 500 days at sea cruising around the world because they discovered it's cheaper to book back-to-back -back cruises than to pay to live in a retirement community. Seriously. Marty and Jess Anson took off on their first cruise June 16th of last year after two years of lockdowns thanks to COVID in Australia. They have yet to stop. They have booked 51 back-to-back -back cruises since last June. They are great-grandparents. They've been on board the 2,000-passenger Coral Princess, Princess Cruise Lines, since last June. That's more than 450 days, coming up on 500 days soon. They've been on board longer than most of the crew, including a couple of captains. They've outlasted the captains of the, the ship. They expect to stay on board the ship for two full years at least because they calculated, ran the numbers, and found that it's cheaper to just keep cruising than to move into a nursing home or a retirement community, which is a sad state of affairs, actually. Thankfully, they're healthy enough that they can make this work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Marty says, uh, we don't know how to make a bed now because we haven't done it for so long, so we have to stay on board the ship just to stay alive. Well, again, good that he can joke about it, but a sad comment on the state of elder care in the Western world. During the month of October, our thank you gift for your gift, your donation of any amount to Skywatch TV, your tax-deductible donation, is a copy of the novel Ebenezer. Donna Howell, who is a gifted writer, brilliant woman, and we are honored to call her our friend. Um, she wrote a novel that picks up where Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol leaves off. What happened to Scrooge after Christmas morning, after Christmas Day? We'll send you a copy of that for your gift of any amount during the month of October, if you're in the U.S. or Canada. Find out more at our website, skywatchtv.com. Uh, look for the red donate button there, or you can go to skywatchtvstore.com, follow the link there. Or if you prefer to do this over the phone, call us toll-free during business hours, 844-750-4985. And thank you for your support. Time, not a constant? Uh, actually, yes. There is a model of physics that deals with zero-point energy, and it can explain how the Earth can appear to be both old and young at the same time, because time is not a constant. The speed of light is not constant. Atomic decay is not, like all of these constants in physics, not constant. 
and there's a biblical explanation for it. This is part of our ongoing discussion, a six-week special investigation into what happened before Genesis. Don't miss this. I mean, this makes my head hurt, and I'm the one who actually talked about this on the program. Uh, you'll find our broadcast schedule at uh, skywatchtv.com slash channels. You can watch the program right now at our website. All of our video content is always at skywatchtv.com. You can also check it out right now at our Roku or Apple TV channels. If you've got a set-top box, make sure you've got the Skywatch TV channel for it. Uh, all of our video content there. You can also check it out for uh, uh, on YouTube. The YouTube channel for the main program is at Skywatch TV now or our Rumble channel, rumble.com slash skywatchtv. But best of all is our free app, Bring our app into your smartphone or tablet because that cuts out the middleman. Comes right from us to you, bypasses the gatekeepers. All of our video content is there, plus important news updates, an audio Bible with multiple translations, and much, much more. Um, even a place to donate if you're so led. It's available for iOS, Android, and Amazon Kindle Fire phones and tablets. Again, it is absolutely free, and we have links to their app stores at our website, skywatchtv.com. Look for the link that says App in the top menu bar. Thank you for watching as we keep watch. I'm Derek Gilbert, and this is 5 in 10 from Skywatch TV.